Graduation. Time to turn the page. Time to celebrate lessons learned. Time to reflect on the road to here, huh? Well, no matter how you view it, to stand on the threshold of graduation means you were able to digest some lessons. Although, standing at that finish line probably gives a sense of uneasiness. So I thought I'd give you some things that I've learned on my journey into the unknown. Maybe it'll help a little bit. Let's see what we can do here. Rule number one, don't mess it up. I tell apprentices that rule number one is don't mess it up. It's probably not what you think. My take on day in and day out life is to do the thing well, whatever that is, and then tomorrow build on today. If you make a mistake today, that's fine. Fix it. Move on. But don't mess up yesterday's work or today's so that you have to fix it tomorrow. Respect yourself and what you do enough to make this rule number one. Think of it as a favor to yourself. The real rule number one is safety first. <laughs> Take two extra seconds and look before you leap. Don't carry shingles up a ladder when you're tired. Do it when you're fresh. Be a defensive driver. Think before you do. Look, you can spot trouble before it comes if you look and you listen. Safety first. Doesn't have to be cumbersome. Just a mindset. Eat the frog. <laughs> if you had to eat a peanut butter jelly sandwich and you had to eat a frog, you had to eat them both, which would you eat first? I'll go for the frog every time. Get the hard stuff out of the way first. A PBJ will never taste better than it does washing down a frog. Play your own game. People are different. For whatever reason, at this moment on this planet, you were put in the body that you're in. You have a spirit, an energy, a natural set of tools called talents. You've got a learned set of tools called skills and a blessing of tools called personality traits. Nobody else has your set of tools. You have to play the game your way. You have to. You're a one-off and you're here for a reason. Take care of your body, but use it. Your body will tell you what's going on if you listen. A classic example is, it hurts when I do this. So don't do that. <laughs> it's kind of that simple. Your body will tell you when to rest. It'll tell you when to eat. It'll tell you when you've been lazy. And it'll tell you when you've abused it. Listen to it and take care of it. Because your body is the most incredible machine there is. It can think and do. It can touch and love, imagine, or move mountains. And it's the only one you've got. Take care of it and use it. Stay free. <laughs> Alcohol, tobacco, opiates, and social media, uppers or downers, there are so many man-made ways to escape. But what? Manufacturers, marketeers, and cartels have created markets by offering addictive products. See, a normal reaction to graduation would be a dopamine release, which produces that warm feeling of accomplishment inside. You know, they know that we can get that same feeling from their products. And that artificial rush tends to make real life good stuff, well, kind of boring. So I say, despite how challenging life may be, and it is challenging, stay free. Relationships. Relationships take on so many forms. Some are win-win, some are out of convenience, some are subservient. But in the end, they all come and they go. A reason, a season, or a lifetime, they say. Lifetime relationships are the fewest, so keep in mind that this is a journey with an ever-evolving cast of characters and circumstances. They change. Try to stay in the moment. Be grateful for it and love that moment for what it is. What if I told you it'll be all right? My left butt cheek talked to me once and again. It's probably not what you think. I was standing looking at a winter sunset when, and I mean, I could hear it. It was an audible voice talking up to me said, what if I told you everything would be all right? That was weird. But what if I knew everything was going to be all right? What if I knew this? Well, it'd be a game changer because there'd be no need to worry. There'd be no need for angst if I knew everything would be all right. Which made me wonder, how would I live if I knew Everything was going to be all right. Try new things. The thing about being a kid is everything is new. Everything 
all the time. When I watch kids being kids, I notice the joy that comes from the openness to new things. New ideas, new toys, and sometimes even new foods. The more we know, the more we tend to think we know. It's an easy rut to fall into, so try new things. Give it a spin. See what happens. You don't have to do it again, but you might just want to. Co-creating and the moon roof. If there's one thing I'm sure of, it's that, at best, I can take credit for the things I've said yes to in this life. I didn't create many of the incalculable situations that I've been confronted with and said yes to. I just said yes. That means that I'm partnered up with God, the universe, serendipity, something. But imagine driving a car with the top open, right? When the lid is closed versus the top is open, you can feel that air. You can feel that connectedness with the outside. So... I don't pray by saying words. If you can imagine this, I try to keep the top of my head open and connected to that power that put me here. I try to keep my own moonroof and myself open, not closed. Well, congratulations, you graduated. <laughs> Nothing from here is clear. And it's not supposed to be. What would be the fun in knowing what comes next? Take a breath, exhale, know you're prepared, and take the next step, whatever that may be. But remember, it'll be all right. Congratulations.